Hello everyone, I am Amit Maru and today in this video we are going to discuss about activity selection problem by using greedy method. So let us start our today's video on activity selection problem. First of all what is activity selection problem is. Suppose uh, we have uh, one uh, we have one CPU and uh, n set of activities. This all the activities are using CPU as a resource. It means that if you want to execute any activity out of this n activity, then uh, we must give uh, CPU. And we have only one CPU, so at a time only one activity can be executed. And uh, the activity I has the starting and finish time, which can be denoted by uh, SINFI. So every activity has a uh, starting time uh, and uh, ending time. The, it is denoted by uh, SINFI. So S indicates a starting time for activity I, and FI indicates a finish time or ending time for activity I. This I indicates activity number if the value of i is equal to 1 it means that our first activity and s1 indicates starting time of first activity and uh, ending uh, f1 indicates ending time of uh, first activity activity selection problem is to find the maximum size subset a of mutually compatible activities so one activity must be compatible with uh, another activity so that we can execute both the activity so we have to identify, we have to uh, maximize the total size of our capital A in that we are storing uh, all the compatible activities. So first of all try to understand what is compatible activities are. Just take one example. Suppose uh, we have a list of activities such as I is equal to 1 then A1 activity, A2 activity, A3 activity up to a 11 activity total 11 activities are there as we discuss every activity has uh, some starting time and uh, finish time so activity 1 has starting time 1 and ending time is 4 activity 2 has a starting time 3 and a, uh, ending time that is a finish time is 5 activity 3 has a starting time 0 and a finish time is 6 so likewise every activity has uh, some starting time and a fixed uh, finish time Right. So now uh, we have to identify the activity which is compatible. It means that uh, uh, we can execute all the activities. In, in uh, We have to identify the set uh, which has a number of activities and all activities can be executed. So as we discuss, uh, we have only one CPU. So at a time only one activity can be executed and it is based on the starting time and ending time. Just take one example. Suppose uh, uh, this is our timeline. We are starting from 0 to uh, 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 maximum value of uh, our starting and finish time we have to consider for example 16. Then 0 to 16 uh, timeline we have to set. But here I am just giving an example uh, what is compatible activities are. So for example we are considering A1 is our first activity. So starting time is 1 and ending time is 4. So uh, the activity A1 has a starting time 1 and ending time is suppose 4. So now we cannot select any activities which has a uh, ending uh, which has a starting time uh, less than the 4. It means that we cannot select A2 because A2 has a starting time 3. At that time our A1 uh, has a CPU it means that A1 is running. So we cannot choose A2 because it has a starting time. Uh, three. So we have to identify the activity uh, which has a starting time either 4 or more than 4 and this kind of activity is known as compatible activity. So identify a uh, next uh, activity which has a starting time either 4 or more than 4. So A4 is compatible because A4 has starting time 5 and ending time is 7. Starting time 5 and ending time is 7. So A4 is compatible because uh, it has a starting time which is greater than the 4 or equal to 4. So it is greater than the 4. So A4 is activity. So A4 is compatible. Sorry. So uh, in this way we have to identify set of activity uh, which is compatible. It means that the second activity uh, starting time of second activity must uh, be more than the uh, more than or equal to the ending time of our first activity right so in this way we have to uh, check and we have to identify different activities and we have to store in one set and this set is known as solution set 
So let us solve this example so that you can easily understand every uh, every steps uh, how we can solve uh, activity selection problem by using greedy method. So let us discuss algorithm. Algorithm is nothing but a set of steps uh, we have. The step number one is sort fi that is a finish time of activity i finish time into non decreasing order it means that ascending order so we have to uh, check finish time of every activity and we have to sort all the activities based on the finish time and uh, the uh, we have to sort uh, into the ascending order step number two select the next activity i to the solution set uh, if i is compatible with each activity in the solution set so as we discussed compatible means what the starting time of uh, previous activity so the starting time of our next activity must uh, be either equal or more than the finish time of our previous activity so uh, we have to uh, the identify uh, first activity then find out the second compatible activity then third compatible activity like that and store uh, in one set step number three repeat step number two until all the activities get examined right so we have to start from the first activity to the last activity identify all the compatible activity and store inside the uh, one site right this algorithm is known as greedy algorithm to find the solution of activity selection problem L uh, let's take our previous example same uh, we are solving by using this all the steps uh, for example, we have a set of activities uh, starting from 1 to 11. It means 11 total activities are there. Every activity has a starting fixed starting time and a fixed uh, finish time that is ending time. Now step number one says that sort fi uh, finish time into non decreasing order. So we have to check uh, finish time of all activity and we have to uh, sort into the uh, ascending order based on the uh, finish time of all the activities just check for example one has a ending time for two as a five three as a six then seven eight so at already it is in ascending order suppose it is not in ascending order then we have to sort first all the activities based on uh, ascending order based on the finish time this is the step number one again i am repeating first step is we have to arrange all the activities based on the finish time and we have to sort all the activities in ascending order based on the finish time so once we check here the finish time of first activity second activity it is already in ascending order so no need to uh, uh, sort all the activities uh, in ascending order now step number two says that we have to identify the compatible activity first we have to select first activity directly and then find out uh, compatible activity uh, we have to examine all the activities starting from uh, two three four up to the 11 so let us start uh, we let us follow our second steps so here uh, we'll have an output once we select any activity from this list then we have to store inside this uh, table inside this set so as we discussed we have already uh, converted into ascending order so first we have to select first activity directly which has a starting time one and ending time four so select first activity and store inside the solution set uh, we have already uh, uh, selected our first activity then examine our second activity which has a starting time 3 and ending time is 5 so as we discuss uh, uh, e your activity is only compatible if the starting time of uh, your activity current activity is greater than or equal to the ending time of our previous activity so the previous activity has an ending time 4 so if the starting time is more than 4 or equal to 4 at the time uh, your activity is compatible otherwise not here the starting time is 3 so this activity is not compatible now we have to examine our uh, third activity which has a starting time 0 so definitely it is also not compatible then we have to examine uh, activity number 4 which has a starting time 5 which is greater than or equal to 4 it means that it is greater than the 4 so this activity is compatible so select this activity and store inside our solution set so we are selecting activity number 4 which is compatible because the ending time is 4 and a starting time of fourth activity is 5 so this is compatible now examine uh, our next activity now we have to consider this activity as a current activity this is our current activity so we have to consider ending time that is seven so identify the uh, activity which has a, a starting time either of seven or more than seven 
so just examine our second uh, next activity that is activity number five which has a starting time three this starting time must be either seven or more than seven but it is less than the seven so this activity is not compatible then examine next activity that is a six activity number six has a starting time five which is less than the seven so it is also not compatible activity number seven which has a starting time six so it is again not compatible activity number eight once we check the starting time of activity uh, number eight then the starting time of activity uh, number eight is eight which is greater than the seven it means that this activity is compatible so add this activity in our uh, solution set and consider this activity as a current activity so activity number eight will be stored inside our solution set now our current activity uh, is eight activity which has a ending time or a finish time that is 11 so we have to identify next activity which has a, a starting time uh, more than the 11 or equal to 11 so our next activity once we select for example uh, then it is our nine activity number nine which has a starting time eight so it is less than the 11 so it is not compatible then activity number 10 which has a starting time uh, 2 which is less than the 11 so again it is not compatible last activity 11th activity which has a starting time 14 so it is compatible and uh, we can select this activity because 14 is larger than the 11 so this is compatible and we can store in our solution set so this is our solution now there is no any other activity so we have to we have already examined all the activities and we have a final solution set we have selected activity number one four eight and eleven so total four activities uh, are there in this list which is compatible and this method is known as greedy method so the final solution of uh, our example is uh, we have selected total of uh, four activities that is uh, a1 elect, uh, activity a4 a8 and a11 these all are the compatible each other and uh, this is the solution of our uh, problem by using greedy method now let us discuss a pseudo code of uh, uh, activity selection problem by using greedy method uh, in this uh, pseudo code uh, we are calling one function and name of the function is for example activity selection problem uh, in that we are passing uh, two argument s and f this is the starting time and ending time of all the activity so the first step is we have to identify how many activities are there so length of s we are finding uh, to find how many activities are there so for example small n indicates number of activities second step is we have to consider our first activities as a, a starting uh, activity because uh, before that we have sorted all the list of uh, activities uh, into ascending order based on uh, their ending time or we can say finish time so consider first activity and uh, select it and uh, store inside our cell, uh, solution set that is our capital M then i indicates our current activity our current activity is equal to one so first activity we are considering as a current activity then as we discussed we have to examine uh, all the activities so we have to start from the second activity up to the last activity that is nth activity so this loop will be executed uh, starting from m, m is equal to 2 to n so it means that we have to examine all the activities so every time we have to check that sm greater than or is equal to fi this fi indicates finish time of our current activity so when we select our next activity activity at that time we have to check that uh, the starting time of our next activity must be uh, either greater than or equal to the finish time of our current activity if this condition is true it means that this activity is compatible and we have to store inside our solution set capital m now this selected activity uh, we have to consider as a current activity so i is equal to m so this loop will be executed uh, until we examine all the activities so this loop will be executed up to the end time at the end we have to return our solution side that is our capital m once we uh, check this whole algorithm uh, or we can say all the steps of our uh, greedy algorithm at that time uh, our second step says that we have to sort all the activities based on the finish time and must be sorted into ascending order 
so to sort all the uh, activities into uh, ascending order we have a certain algorithm and uh, the good algorithm we are considering either the quick sort or merge sort and both the algorithms are uh, uh, taking n into a uh, log n time so the we can say the maximum time uh, uh, to spend uh, for this activity selection problem is sort the uh, all the activities into ascending order then after we have only one loop to select uh, all the activities so this loop will be executed n times only so to select the activity uh, this loop will be executed maximum n time but to sort the uh, activity into ascending order our algorithm required n log n time so the maximum time required by this algorithm or we can say and the uh, order of uh, our uh, activity uh, algorithm of our activity selection problem it takes order of n log n time so the time complexity of this algorithm is t of n belongs to order of n log n so this is all about uh, what is activity selection problem and how we can solve activity selection problem by using greedy method so thank you thank you very much